The Ultimate Flash Game Tier List by Martin Cetapants. Oh boy, Flash was an experience. It was a time, chat. You had to understand. It, it was... A Excuse me, it was a different era. Hello there. No? Hello again. Maybe? Hello again. There it is! Welcome back. I love it. Flash games. A great relic of the 2000s. Today, we'll be it's ranking them volume. in a tier list to determine which games are truly the best, and which are objectively poo tier trash. Ooh. If you were anything like me as a kid, then you probably spent a great deal of time on many different websites playing Flash games. Yeah. I have fond memories of sites like Congregate, Nitrome, Cool Math Games, oh. and... Man, I remember Congregate. Oh my god. Each of these had their cool own math personal games, yeah. identity and a catalogue of games. Some good, some bad, nice. and some just kind of... Strange. Fuck Parking Mania. Today we'll be playing these games and pitting them against each other to determine which game is truly the best. This is just what the app stores have become. Like if you go into like the Google Play Store or the iOS store, this is just what it's this is just what it's become. As you may have heard, Adobe is ceasing support for Flash Player at the end of the year. Yeah. So I figured I would make this Sad. video before this chunk of our history is erased. They're all Keep backed in mind, up, right? This list is 100 percent objective fact and cannot be argued with. Fair. Anyway. Let us begin. Let us mm, got him. <gasps> Punny. We'll start our journey with D tier because, as we all know, low end mediocrity is far worse than abject failure. We begin our journey with a true classic Block Saws. Mm. Probably a good game, but simply put, yeah, fuck this game. It really puts into perspective just how little functional brain cells I actually have. Yeah, sure, the game is probably good, but oh my god, just get in the hole. Nice. Ah. You gotta roll this rectangle prism guy into this hole right here. He doesn't fit horizontally, so you gotta roll him in vertically. Yeah. Dude, just get in the fuck every level. Man, can you imagine nowadays? So, like, <sighs> there are people nowadays, sometimes, like, there's people on TikTok that I've seen, they would get endless hours of enjoyment out of this. Sometimes I wonder maybe this is why some of us just think differently, is because this was just, just games, right? And obviously, we still have like Candy Crush and stuff like that, right? Or Balloon's Tower Defense 2, or, or 6, right? However, I don't know. There's just something about just these teased your brain in a certain way that I feel like some modern content creators could have just absolutely like, like Quap too. Yeah. Oh my God. Like they would have hours of endless entertainment and frustration and it would be amazing to watch. It gets harder and every waking minute I spend here decreases my IQ by several points. Yes. D tier. Trash. Don't ever talk to me again. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Moving on. We have Bubble Trouble. Wait. I remember this vaguely. Trouble? Aura. This is an adventure Shoot quest bubbles, bullshit. Bubble split into two more bubbles. Shoot more bubbles. Shoot bubble. Trilling. Once again, I find myself utterly incapable of predicting the path of a bouncing bubble. Fuck! Shit's hard. The first few levels are fairly easy, but then... Oh, hell breaks loose. Yeah. Nice. Fuck! This game also features a two-player <laughs> mode designed to instill as much hatred for your fellow man as possible. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this game... Fucking sucks, get out of here. Perfect, I love it. <laughs> Around medium D tier, we have Interactive Buddy. Oh my god, I used to do this Interactive Buddy and. And uh, what was it? It wasn't Play Yank back then. It was Pandemic, right? It was called Pandemic. I played this shit all the time in the middle school uh, library before class. Oh my god, it was amazing. This was a time. I feel like there's people in chat that are like, what is this? Just don't oh, it's 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 the best thing you've never heard of. This game is bizarre. Yes. It's the only game I know of that allows you to brutally assault ex-president George W. Bush. <laughs> this guy <laughs> is our interactive buddy, who we can tickle, pick up, sing him a tune on the radio, and then set him on fire, yeah. throw infants at him, and nuke him from orbit. Yeah. This game appeals to the sadistic masochist buried deep inside every child's mind. It's perfect. Like any classic CIA interrogation, there isn't actually an end goal. No. Of course, if you consider buying more powerful fun tools, then fun there tool. is one. To get items and weapons, you need money, which is earned by repeatedly throwing bowling balls into the poor guy's head. Yeah. We can also use this money to dress our interactive buddy up as different people. <laughs> like Republican, <laughs> Democrat, <laughs> Gorilla Fighter, <laughs> Teletubby. Yeah. Who the fuck is Tom? Tom. Don't the game also features different modes, like uh, blood and gore. No. Yep. Yeah. This is this is a, this is an experience. Weird. 
Weird. Cut the rope. I've played this game a lot. It's not great. I feel like I remember this. You cut a rope and feed this little dull bludger his Centrelink payment. Wonderful. It's kind of satisfying to get the thing to get all three stars, but really, it's boring. D tier, D -tier. go away. Yeah. C <laughs> Moving quickly on to C tier, we have Duck Life. This game plays like Learn to Fly, but worse in almost every way. They made four of these, wow. they all play more or less the same. You get your duck, train him to become an elite CrossFit athlete, and then race him against other ducks. My strategy in this game is quite simple. Uh huh. Make your duck a literal supersonic jet for the flying event, and nothing else on all other events. Yeah. Yeah, sure, the other ducks will gain the initial lead, but your flying will be so dominant that they will still lose. I'm gonna huh. go ahead and assume that this measurement here is meters, which means our duck at max speed can go one kilometer per second. Jesus. Then feed your duck the most potent anabolic steroids money can buy and have him race. Yeah. Now watch here as our duck starts out slowly. Martin is losing our yeah. initial lead to the other ducks in the race. The other ducks get to the cliff first, leap off and begin flying. Our duck comes along and leaps off the cliff and absolutely smokes these other players. Legends. Easy. C tier. I mean, I can see. is for quack. Next up, we have Extreme Bump Loader. You play as this runny away guy. Cool game, but very simple. SCP probably 5,000. The controls 000. are literally three buttons. Just hold the right arrow and press up occasionally. You start in Bump Loader, España, running away from a bull. Next up, oh. you go to either Holland or Deutschland. I just remember the... I don't think that's Deutschland. Um, uh, I uh, remember the, the... For some reason, it's the family guy breeding bull skip that comes to mind. Just don't ask. <laughs> and run away from women. Oh, yeah, that's... Stay safe, King. No, that's normal. Then you get two of three choices. Just don't choose Switzerland, and you'll be good. Seriously, the ski guy does not mess around. Fuck! Once ski you guy is built the different. entire country of France in 40 seconds, you arrive in Sweden, where you get chased by this fat guy through a bathhouse. What? To escape the bathhouse, you must use the surrounding fat guys and launch yourself to the upper floors. After Perfect. you bounce off of the Swedish population, you go back to Spain and run back into that's the stadium with the That's some tropical-level stuff. Oh, it's German for German. Okay. Simple. I was missing and that good. part. Thank you. Up next, we've got Heli Attack. Three. You play as this guy, who spends his days shooting down helicopters with a pistol, grenades, and many kooky weapons. This reminds this is like flash metal slug, it looks like. Incredible. Occasionally, helicopters drop said weapons for you to better shoot down the other helicopters with. Each level has a quota that you must fulfill. Once you destroy the local you, rotary wing airspace. The reason I remember Metal Slug is I had a pizza place that I used to when I lived back in California. And it wasn't really here in Idaho. But like, like core child memory, just like going to the pizza place, pizza places, I guess I should say. Actually, that was, I mean, it was a round table pizza. Yo, did round table pizza, I have to look if there's any round table pizza still open now that I think about it. It's not doxing myself because like I, there's so many round table pizzas. Wow. Yeah. Metal Slug Arcade at the, yeah, at the pizza arcade. Yeah. You know, you know the core memory. You move on to the next level. The next level has stronger helicopters for you to destroy. Once Crazy you reach pizza the final now. level, you don't win. You enter the endless mode, which gets boring quite quickly. I believe it. C tier. Meow. Commando. Ah yes, the first Commando game. This game is horrendously difficult. You have three lives to beat the entire game. Rough. What the fuck? Bruh. Yeah. You play as a Bruh. British commando from World War II, tasked with single-handedly destroying the entire German army. Ah yes, that's what I assume that the, the British from World War II looked like with the bandana. Hell yeah. You can shoot in exactly two directions, directly forward and straight up. The game also has pretty terrible input lag, health packs are spread really far apart, some of the platforming is just plain rude, and you only nice. get three lives, oh my god! Hence why I wasn't able to finish the game despite playing it for a couple of hours. I guess there are, I guess there's six roundtable pizzas in Idaho, I kind of need to get the, I kind of need to travel to one of these. Besides the hard difficulty, the game is actually pretty fun. When you come across a tank, I'd recommend Talk. using grenades like this. Nice. Alright, War Thunder, War Thunder peeps in chat. What when tank is across what, what tonk is this? Is this the duck one? It's a tank. I'd recommend using grenades like this. Nice. Nice. C tier. Respectable. Starting off with B tier, we have Run 2, a true staple of the Cool Math Games universe. In this game, you play as a faceless grey blob wearing skates that runs. Nice. And runs. And keeps on running. <laughs> yeah. What is it running from? We don't know. But can only speculate. He just he, he must run. Finishing each level is really quite easy. The difficulty in this game is collecting these yellow dots. There is one per level, and they usually require some brain activation to get. Brain I'll activation. Be honest, I never played this one much, 
but it's still pretty decent. Neuron Thank activation. You. Learn to fly one. I feel the like I remember this. In the Learn to Fly trilogy. Now these games are pog. Yeah, this definitely, this is ringing a bell with me. I don't know if I played it person, but I know people that played it. 2014, you wow. You play as this penguin who gets epic troller lulled by a Wikipedia article oh. stating that penguins are flightless birds. <laughs> now, took that personally. then collects investment from someone and takes flight with the help of specially made penguin launching technology. Once again, I have to say it, this game is pog. To upgrade your equipment, you must gain money. To gain money, you need to fly for long duration at high altitude and high speed. At the end of the game, you get a fast glider and a big rocket and take off into the distance. Hell yeah. Only to smash into a giant iceberg that was somehow out of sight. Nice. Permanently paralyzing our pinguino from the <laughs> neck down. Epic series, decent game. B tier. Yeah. B tier. Yeah, Next up, we toss. The total. What? what? The Brutal. best total cruelty simulator on the market. That's disturbing. Yeah. You get a cannon and a slingshot yeah. and must fire this poor turtle as far as possible. Much like the Learn to Fly series, you earn money to get upgrades. These upgrades are then used to go further to earn more money and buy more upgrades. Flash games were not always the most most like child friendly, let's put it that way. Now I spent around an hour and a half trying to complete this game before I realized that it never actually ends. Once you unlock all the best stuff, there's nothing else to do and the game gets boring. Yeah. Still fun though. B tier. It's an afternoon's worth Thanks. of enjoyment. A classic multiplayer experience. Oh, I played this. Get your Hell friends yeah. And complain vigorously about the shitty game design. Oh, this was th this was mwah, chef's kiss. This was great back in the day. Oh my, this was revolutionary even in certain aspects. Like this was great. Shoot guys, airstrike guys, you guys. I remember having multiplayer lobbies Hot with this. Shower guys, very nice. Tanks. B tier. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was good. Off the rails. Very solid game about two sombrero-wearing cacti traversing the Mexican desert on a hand-powered rail car. Never good played soundtrack, this. soundtrack, nice art and animations, and the cacti go. Nice. Very good. Very good. good. B tier. Next up, we have Shopping Cart Hero. You play as this dude who throws himself in a shopping cart repeatedly off a cliff for clout. Nice. You can earn this clout to buy jet engines, afterburners, and friends to throw off the cliff. To get the you most clout, you friends. must perform tricks in a sequence, kind of like Tony Hawk. Uh huh. Very nice. Nice. B tier. B tier. Skywire 2. Not the most famous game out there, but certainly a good one. You're a cable car that needs to deliver these little tic tac dudes to the end of each level, presumably on some fucked morning commute. Every mistake you make, one of the tic tacs is ejected and sent to a watery demise. The music is solid, the level design and art are really good, the game is just good. Except for these purple fucks, they can go away. B tier. Fuck those purple fox. <laughs> Finally, Papa's Games. All of them in general. I feel like I remember this. The same game. I remember in this. this. video, I played Papa's Pizzeria, which involves the creation and poisoning of pizzas to nice. deliver to unsuspecting customers. Yeah, I remember this. Oh man, it's been a hot order, minute. Place God knows what that is in a specific pattern. Anchovies. Throw the pizza in the oven for a specific amount of time and then slice it up and give it to them. God, I'm craving pizza tonight. This video is actually messing with my brain. Like, I'm kind of craving pizza tonight. Bro, I wanted to come over. The what? difficulty comes with more customers and more orders for you to get mixed up with. I'm a really shit multitasker, so I find this game mentally challenging. <laughs> Hi, I B get that. Hi, B. Yeah. Good games. Solid. Oh, now we're getting to the big boys. Welcome to A tier. From here on, we get what is known as the Ooh Yeah Zone. Ooh, for games yeah. that make you go, Ooh Yeah. Our um. first Ooh Yeah of the video is Age of War. This game is a true classic, and its music is what I used in the intro. I don't think I've actually ever played this. Plays out on a 2D it looks familiar, though. where soldiers patiently line up and wait their turn to whack each other. You have a base, and the enemy has a base. To win, you simply destroy their base. The game has three types of units to choose from per age, and you can level up your base to create stronger ones. To cheese the game and Suck. win easily, I'd recommend abusing the pause mechanic. It resets all the animations of all the characters oh my on screen, God. meaning if you have a ranged unit, he can fire at pretty stupid rates. Would recommend. Disgusting, Agent. I love it. Final Ninja Zero. Yet another, ooh yeah. You play as this ninja guy who needs to run to an elevator in each level to win. I don't think I've seen this you one. You can run, jump, slide and jump off of walls. There's some Mega Man influence there. Go invisible there. for sneaky stealth time, fling lots of shurikens at the bad guys, and also use shurikens as a grappling hook. Very fun, and quite good. A tier. Good. <laughs> N. You run. N. You jump. I think I've Sometimes seen this. Sometimes you jump off of walls. 
Sometimes you jump into mines. This looks familiar. And sometimes you misjudge how high that ledge is. Nice. That's the game. Yeah, I, I Epic. never played this, but I've seen you it. You have to reach this thing, which opens this door and then run into said door. These yellow squares increase the time you have to do each series of levels. In total, there's something like 500 levels, which is pretty pog. Yeah. A tier. Kind of cool. Good job. Stick War. This never game played plays it. like Age of War if it was a campaign instead of a single battle. You mine resources to create units and make said units go and smack the enemies dead. Yeah. Completing levels allows you to upgrade your existing units and sometimes access entirely new ones. To That's win, cool. you smash the enemy statue on the other end of the map. The it's game creative. gets progressively more difficult as more mechanics and units are introduced. My pro gamer tip would be buy lots of archers and use these mage guys. Damn, it's almost like archers are OP in medieval warfare. They can spawn these dumb little fucks at a very high rate while the archers go yeah. pretty good. A tier. Definitely good. Learn to fly three. Our penguin returns once again. Not to conquer atmospheric flight, but to go beyond and reach the moon. I feel this like I've definitely played this. Game is a lot like Learn to Fly One, but instead of sideways, you go up. Up. Ah, oh, astounding. There are a few factors that determine the height of your flight. The capsule you use, the rockets you have access to, the side boosters you attach, mm -hmm. the weight of the system, and the starting explosive you use. Hell yeah. <laughs> Mushroom cloud. Anyway, yeah. Good game. A tier. Pretty good game. Oh, it was on Steam. Uh, That'd yes, be neat. A true classic. Bloons Tower Defense 4. Oh my god. We, we, we still see Bloons just go to this day. It's wild. This game does everything a tower defense game can do right. The goal is extremely simple. Stop the hordes of balloons from making it to the end. Mm -hmm. To do this, you must place dart flinging monkeys, boomerang flinging monkeys, cruise missile launches, boat monkeys, boat. plane monkeys, etc. I've, I've definitely played this. I was never really into it, but I, I see the appeal and was into it. Game is great. I played it. Fat Cat. Fat Another cat? game from the best Flash game site out there. Nitrome. You play as two characters at the same time. This little owl dude with the mouse and this big old flying Chonka. with the Chonka. keyboard. To win, you simply get the big boy to the end of each level without dying. I mean, it's kind of cool. I mean, like, I feel like in a 3D space, modern game, it could be a modern game that actually could use a, a system like this where you have to go between two characters. I feel it could be a really good seller. The owl can shoot this machine gun thing and the cat has a giant laser it can use. Hell yeah. Like any Nitrum game, the graphics and sound design are really good. Everything feels satisfying and the game is just generally... Kinda of pog. It looks good. Well done, Nitro. Looks really good. A tier. We're done with A tier. On to S tier. Officially, the big boy zone. Starting off S tier, we have Happy Wheels. Do I even need- This definitely looks familiar. I might have played this once. Need to explain this one. You play as a diverse cast of scuffed characters that go through levels. There is yeah, somewhat realistic this. physics, and each character in the game can be exploded into several small pieces. The nice. game is very open-ended, with literally millions of levels available to choose from from Wild. the level browser. Nice. There are a near infinite amount of ways your poor character can eat dirt. Ooh. My personal favorites would be getting repeatedly shot in the head with a crossbow. Yeah, I'm not super into gore. That's probably why I didn't play it for long. Harpoons. And this giant combine thing. S tier. Nope, can't do it. Not my thing. Motherload. This game is truly one of the best and well-deserving of the big boy title. I don't think I've seen this. In it, you play as this mining thingy that needs to go down and collect valuable resources. The game starts with our good friend, Mr. Nuthouse, giving us a briefing on what we're supposed to be doing here. Maybe I've seen it. I don't think I played it. Like the video if you show unconditional support and admiration for Mr. Nuthouse. <laughs> Awful. Not, yeah. You get it's dropped off by this dropship thing onto the surface of Mars as a well-paid miner. Mr. Nardas informs us that things have been kind of weird around here lately, so he's willing to pay a premium for miners like us to go down and dig. Mm -hmm. The deeper you dig, the more valuable resources you come across. Diggy dig your hole that rock and stone? Hell yeah. Even things like ancient religious artifacts and Martian fossils can be found. You also get radio transmissions from other people, presumably mining as well. The deeper you go, the stranger they become. Yeah. Mining and selling ores gives you cash to spend inside three shops. Equipment, upgrades, and fuel. Mm -hmm. I would highly recommend upgrading your fuel tank to a higher capacity because it runs out exceptionally quickly. Once you've dug down to 4,000 feet, things start getting pretty strange. The radio uh -oh. communications are weirder, mm -hmm. there are lots of impenetrable rocks and lava pockets, and sometimes the dirt just explodes and nice. kills you instantly. Nice. 
<laughs> Past 5,000 feet, it's too dangerous to use the drill, and explosives must be used to mine out dirt. At 6,000 feet, the altimeter goes all weird and doesn't tell you how deep you've gone. But you keep digging. I miss those features in bottom. games. Once at the bottom, you enter a giant cavern, and who else to greet you down there but the trustworthy and admirable Mr. Nutters. Hell yeah. His name backwards is... Aww. Mm. Clever. So naturally, you hit him with the... Yeah. Well done. Oh, fuck. It's Mega Satan. Mega Satan. Once again, you hit him with the... Yeah. Negative six, 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 six feet. I get clever. I, I say that Very as I roll game. my eyes. S tier. Commando 2. Nice. The first shooter game that I properly played as a kid. In it, you play as the same guy from the first game. Egg except <laughs> he's learned to shoot at angles other than 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Whatever the first game did wrong, this game did right. There are four levels, each with three levels of difficulty. You get nine lives to complete the game, which may seem like a whole lot more than Commando 1, but it's actually still pretty low, especially considering how hard the later levels get. Mm -hmm. This time, our boy has been sent to the Pacific Theater to destroy the entire Imperial Japanese army, including whatever this thing is, this Kung Fu with an O warrior dude, <laughs> a giant flying crab, and this samurai rocket. There's so much. There's, it's so thematic. It's actually kind of artistic. I love it. Need I say more? There are way more guns in the first game, and you get to organize them into a loadout. Meaning, you can carry more than one gun. Amazing. Great music, great art and animations, great backgrounds. Yeah. Great game. Solid. S tier. It, it really looks good. Learn to fly too. Oh. Now this game is not only Pog. It has gone beyond and achieved Mega Pog. My brain was like, my, my brain in my tired state right now is like, it's easy to say Mega Pog. And then he did, and I'm just like, God damn it. That's the one. Our brave penguin returns with one goal. Destroy yeah. the giant iceberg he flew into in the first game. Fuck that iceberg. To do this, Pinguino <laughs> has enlisted the help of this vaguely penguin-shaped dummy for use as a high-powered, nuclear-armed hypersonic missile. Hell yeah. Once again, our penguin has collected money from a mysterious <laughs> investor and is using it in his ICBP program. <laughs> the P is for penguin. Nice. To raise money, we must fly for a long duration at high speed and high altitude while destroying as many natural landmarks as possible. There's a snowman, snow pile, mountain, little iceberg, mountain. and finally, the wall. the wall. To effectively destroy the wall, I would recommend attaching a nuclear warhead to our brave pinguino and firing him off into the distance. Nice. Yeah, fuck that iceberg. He was a jerk and everybody knew it. <laughs> Epic. S tier. Best of the series. Amazing game. Stellar work. Incredible. How do they keep doing this? Nice. Raft Wars. The premier shooting people off rafts into shark infested water game. Bah! Little Slim Timo. I think I've seen this. This this more reminds me of Pop Tropica's aesthetic than anything. I, I feel like I've seen this in action, but I haven't played but it. here finds this big old diamond while digging around in the sand at a local beach. A story is run in the newspaper, which prompts a bunch of different individuals to go and try take the treasure. You've got pirates, vikings, gangbangers, your neighbors, oh. these <clears throat> racially ambiguous men, and whatever these guys are. Nice. Naturally, you repeatedly shoot tennis balls at them until they fall into the water and drown. Nice. In the final level, your other neighbors have tied your parents to a tree who need to be rescued. I definitely see, like, South Park vibes from this, actually. There's definitely some South Park-isms I can see. You drown your remaining neighbors and rescue your parents to save the day. But then... Yeah. Sadly, your parents are evil and also want the treasure. So you drown them, too. Ooh. <laughs> Awful. Well done. Everyone you know is dead, but at least you got the bread. Yeah. S tier. It had a it had a plot Blooms to it. Tower Defense Five. Remember how I said BTD Four did everything right? Well, this game does everything even more right. It adds heaps of features, lots of new towers, multiple upgrade paths to choose per tower, abilities, the monkey bank, monkey, etc. During my recording session of this game, I got a little past round one hundred, which plays more like a PowerPoint presentation than an actual game. Jesus, you got a fucking number for that frame rate? Oh wow, pretty good. Yeah. This game is quite big, so I really can't do it justice in this video. I sure do like playing my games like I like my slideshow presentation slide by slide. Just take my word for it. It's a great game. S tier. Age of War 2. 
Similar to the oh. first game, but better in every way. Yeah, you they... start in the caveman age and must advance to higher ages to acquire better units, stronger abilities, and more scuffed tactics. This is definitely when the you know graphical fidelity was starting to get a little bit better in Flash. This is wild to think about. The ages are ordered a little strangely. First off, we got caveman. Fair enough. Next is Spartan Age. Okay, yeah, that's like 1000 BC. Understandable. Next, the Ancient Egyptian Age. Mm. 4000 BC. I don't know about that progression, Captain. Oh, yep. Yeah. Then we jump forward 5000 years to the Medieval Age, which is full of fairies. Then we get Renaissance. Swordman. Swordman. Handles the sword like nobody else does. Perfect. Rifleman. Will not hesitate to use his musket to teach a lesson. Then we get Modern Age. Infantry Soldier will perform advanced combat tactics. Advanced combat tactics? No! Grenade soldier will blow. Uh, blow no. up, rather. Excuse you? <laughs> no. You're mine. Nice. Wow. And finally, the future age. I will now demonstrate how to beat this game on the highest difficulty. First off, understand that the only way to make money and XP is to kill enemies. Okay. This means if we want to maximize profit, we need to spend as little money as possible per each kill we get. Makes sense, yeah, logically. For this job, we use the Chicken Smacker 9 million. Chicken? The Chicken Smacker fires eggs at a very high speed at enemy combatants. Disgusting. Doing considerable damage for a relatively low cost. Then it's perfect. This, this is, these, these are the cheese strats. And we wait until they're within range before spawning in our own guys. Using this tactic, we can reliably make more money per unit than if there was no Chicken Smacker. Huh. Continue this until you get to the Egyptian Age where you spawn as many priests as physically possible. Make sure to upgrade both their damage and range. Once the audio starts clipping, you know you're doing well. Sounds like artillery to me, or jaw-like artillery. <laughs> From this point, you most likely have a pretty strong lead and can simply spawn in ranged units until you win. Nice. Disgusting. S tier. Perfect. S. Well, that's it then. Is it? The best and worst flash games of my childhood. Oh. Wait a minute. Ooh. What about poo tier? Surely there's something that belongs down here. Oh? What is this? What's happening? I'm s Oh wait, is this... Impossible game? Yeah, this is the impossible game, right? Yeah, yeah, poo tier, easy. Poo tier, yeah. Go, goes without saying, poo tier. <clears throat> so, is that it? Can I finally leave? Nope, never. We gotta go SSS tier now. No. Ah! <laughs> uh, God, is that you? What? What? No. <laughs> you missed a tier. <laughs> what? You missed a tier, dumbass. <laughs> oh, this one here. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, what goes there? I don't know any games that would go there. Uh oh. Sit tight, fucko. Sit tight, fucko. Watch this. What's it gonna be? What? I don't know this one. Is that? Oh my god. It looks familiar. Obama Alien Defense. Oh, this was the tail end of Flash, wasn't it? Hello, gents. Thanks for watching this horrible mess. When I sat down to write this, I thought, damn. The last video was pretty long. Let's do a short one. Nope. That worked well. Yeah. I'd like to thank everyone for being patient with my incredibly lazy upload schedule. Next video should be a KSP one, so sit tight for that. I realize I haven't been streaming a lot, but I'll definitely get back on that grind for next video, so stay posted for that. I'd also like to extend a thanks to these dudes, who pressed the join button and became Bean Extraordinaires. Nice. They're all quite pog. Bean. As some of you may know, the Discord was permanently deleted for violating Discord Terms of Service, which I consider somewhat of an achievement. Yeah. I honestly haven't had much use for it, so for the time being, it'll stay deleted until I figure out a use case. Violating Discord Terms of Service? What did he do? <laughs> so, uh, don't join the Discord, because there is no Discord. Have a nice day, and remember to give me all your pocket money for nothing in return. Nice. I mean, at least he's honest Bye. about it. At least he's honest about it. <laughs> Unlike Blizzard, holy shit. Um, no, this is excellent. That was... Oh, hey, Mudahar. How you doing? <laughs> this was excellent. I really enjoyed this. And it was good to have a trip down memory lane. And... Oh, God, that was fun. We, we even got to see the, the fabled Martin Cedar Pants boat. We really did. That was...
Excellent. Thank you for that. That was amazing.